look through other agency um, posts to make sure that, you know, hey, if a post that has a picture in it, and I'm telling you, posts that have pictures in it do really well, maybe I need to incorporate that into my post. And I'm not saying that you have to do a specific picture, but posts that have pictures for recruiting for employees, for healthcare professionals do well. Um, and you know, the more, you know, the more attractive the post, of course, um, the more views or comments that you might get, which is kind of giving your, your particular post, um, some traction. And even if the person isn't interested, they may go to your page and check out your Facebook business page. And that's also why it's important to have a, you know, up and running proper Facebook business page as well. Um, once you, you know, determine, say you're part of a group that doesn't have like specific guidelines as far as the content that your job posting needs to have, you want to be consistent. So you always want to make sure that you're posting location, um, area or specialty, um, pay, if not exact pay, which I will say people want exact pay. Um, pay ranges. Um, you want to talk about housing if you're posting on a travel group. You want to make sure that you're talking about whether or not it's a contract or if it's per diem or if it's travel a travel contract. Um, as well, it, to make sure that you understand the difference. So people can contract as a traveler or they can contract locally. Um, people have the option to per diem, you know, we all know per diem is anywhere. So you want to be as specific as possible. The location, some people um, might put the name of the facility. It's it's typically not done, but you can because um, that might filter through people as well. And um, make sure you have contact information. Leave more than one form of contact information. I will leave a phone number and an email address because some people prefer either or. Um, and some people might do both. Um, so you want to make sure that you have that in place as well. And then finally, you also want to think about just being like creative with it. You know, if there's something specific going on in the industry, I know a lot of people, um, when the, and I'm probably going to get some of this wrong. I believe it was a Congresswoman had made the comment about nurses and I think she's in Washington State. And you guys are going to have to correct me if I'm wrong. I'm just going off the top of my head. And she made the comment about nurses um, sitting down all day and not doing anything. Maybe she was a senator. Anywho, that particular comment and what she said got a lot of traction, activity, feedback, retweets, shares. So, you know, maybe a lot of recruiters at that time played on it. Oh, it was playing cards. It was... Um, all nurses at night do is playing cards. And I know that's not true. But a lot of recruiters played on that. And that became part of their posts. So get creative with it. You know, kind of factor in what's going on. Some agencies, we've used it ourselves, fall into your next contract. Um, you know, other different, you know, ways to make it... Um, specific but authentic to your agency it doesn't have to be what someone else created but it can I mean fall into your next contract is pretty common as we come into fall um you know start a new job opportunity take things in a new direction um and it can also play on your own tagline that's for your particular agency so I encourage you to get creative with it um people like the engagement and the interaction on the post and um, pictures are good. Did you hear me? Pictures are a good thing. And um, if you have somebody in your group or working for you that's creative in that way, I would encourage that to be something that that person works on for you to kind of make sure that your posts are in creative and engaging. And they don't have to necessarily be pictures, but they can be that you're using like background colors and different um, fonts and formats always kind of catch people's attention because you're typically not the only person or agency posting on these web pages or these group pages. So you want to, you have to create a way for you to stand out. Um, some offer and put their bonuses, you know, $250 with the start. Some offer other types of um, incentives as well. I will say there was one agency that did a drawing for a free car 
um, which of course caught my eye. Now, I don't know that anybody actually got a car, but you know, some, you know, sometimes you can do different things, um, or gift cards, gift cards are big things that people, Hey, if you're interested in your start your contract in 10 days, we'll give you a $25 gift card. That's very common. So I would definitely just look at the posts that other agencies make prior to doing your own. And then when you start to do your own, try to get pretty creative with it um, so that, you know, you'll stand out because there could be hundreds of posts um, any given day in any particular group. So you want to stand out. So after you figure out what you want to post, how you want it to look, you post it on the page, you set up your Facebook business page and you put your post out there and you met all the requirements that the group has for posting. Now let's get ready for the comments. So initially, depending on where the job is located, the comments can be pretty quiet in the beginning. But if you set up everything just right, and there's no real formula for it, but if you set up everything in time, or if you're in an ideal location, like as we go into fall, a lot of people who are um, in areas where it might be colder might want to come down south, and then kind of vice versa throughout the year. So um, once you've done that, and now you're starting to get comments. And like I mentioned earlier, we did ours. We did ours in a very large group. We got a lot of comments. And the best thing you can do is provide as much information as possible in the post so that if the questions do come up, you can refer people back to the post. And there's a nice way to do it. Um, you can always answer it. But I would encourage you to refer people back to the post and really focus on people who are genuinely interested. So if somebody um, replies interested, like some people just say interested, you know, then, hey, you know, my email's listed up in the post or you can go out to our page, our business page and apply there. Um, so you want to kind of give the people that are genuinely interested their next steps. So you can apply on our Facebook business page, which if you have one, it should be set up where people can apply on it. Or you can um, direct them to an email if you're just doing email. Um, and if they're interested, they'll keep, you know, they'll continue through the process. For the others who might want to say, well, what is the pay and what is the shift? Mind you, all this should be in your original post. Um, reply, but don't get into the habit of going back and forth. If you provided all the information that the person is requesting in the post, and then you do the initial reply, you don't have to keep replying. Um, if they're interested, they'll take the next steps on, um, that's the best way to deal with it. Especially if your job gets a lot of, um, movement, um, you do want to make sure that you maintain a pretty good, process as far as re making that initial reply because from your Facebook business pages, they do keep track of saying your response rate and you always want to have a good response rate. And then if people have additional questions, they can inbox you. You know, you want to give people the option, well, inbox me, email me, call me. Um, you always do want to give them the easiest way to get in touch with you, which I think is for many of us, inboxing and emailing. And then from there, you know, you kind of make it a habit where you post every week or you post every other week. And any job that you do post onto a group, I would encourage you to also post it onto your Facebook business page. Because um, people might just want to know who you are, what you're about, where you're located and things like that. So that should kind of already be established on your page and that kind of establish you a little bit more too as a legitimate agency. If you're an agency that you haven't heard of, and that's another thing because some people will say, have you ever heard of agency ABC? So I'm using ABC as the example. Like if I posted my job, I didn't get to reply to some of the comments, people might get antsy and say, oh, have you ever heard of agency ABC or has anybody ever worked for agency ABC? So you want to kind of maintain your reputation um, within the healthcare staffing community. Um, and there are times where things can go left and a disgruntled employee might say um, something negative, which is their choice. Um, once again, you just have to manage that um, professionally as well and um, know that it'll happen. 
Um, a lot of the groups too, what's a good way to recruit is you don't always have to post jobs. You can actually look for people who are looking to do the job that you're recruiting for. And I found this particular way to be the most effective. Um, posting the jobs onto Facebook kind of gets awareness about our agency, but actually targeting people that make a post that'll say, looking for long-term care RN openings in New Mexico or long-term care LPN openings in Delaware and Pennsylvania and New Jersey. Those people are clear about what they want. They're clear about their specialty. And in many instances, they may say ready to work now or willing to, you know, available to work in September. And those people, you can instant message through their business page and just kind of reference, hey, I see you're looking for an opportunity. You know, we have something that might be a good fit for you if you're interested, blah, blah, blah. So I think that's a little bit better um, or something that you can do in addition to posting jobs just because everybody's not really looking, actively looking on Facebook and many other groups as much as they're just kind of fishing. Um, as well, I encourage you to join as many groups as you can as well as always looking for groups that meet your immediate needs just to get people aware of your agency especially if it's a area specific group like if it's a new mexico group and your business is in new mexico you want to kind of you know let people know hey there's this agency abc in new mexico if they're looking for something per diem or what have you and then you can always also um join the bigger groups which i think you should because in the bigger groups like the gypsy nurse travel group and the LPN gypsy nurse gypsy nurses has tens of thousands of people their groups are really good about kind of giving you a heads up to what's happening in the industry um they kind of talk about different topics um I think primarily their topic base is about travelers new travelers existing travelers um, there's also a group out there that speaks about facilities that cancel a lot. Um, they have a pretty strong um, presence. And um, the the members will let you know about facilities that cancel a lot. And that can help you as a business owner as well. So um, I'll leave that one in the comment section, the name of that group. <laughs> And then, you know, some groups that are specific as um, long-term care, you know, LPN groups. And I would also try to stay away from some of the groups that are only focused on, um, that are only focused on comments. So groups where people have get the opportunity to post a lot, where it's kind of like blind posting, um, just because you'll end up getting your inbox or your message box filled with, Oh, such and such posted, such and such posted, such and such post that, but it's not really um, of any content. It's not of any purpose or content for your business. So that's why I encourage you to definitely look through the group to make sure it'll fit um, because some groups set up or their title might say A, B, and C, but when you actually go into the group, it might be a situation where it's a group for people to vent um, or talk badly about staffing agencies, you know, and that's not something that you necessarily want to spend your time on. Um.